What's up again, people? One Nut Punch here. Light Brigade came out with a huge update yesterday called 3.0, and they released a new class called The Hunter. And I wanted to show off exactly how it plays and what I did to kind of compensate for the bow. I'm not used to playing games in VR uh, using a bow, and they always have, like, different ones. Like, for example, Blade and Sorcery felt more natural compared to this, and... I think it was like uh, Battle Talent was another one that had like a weird type of mechanic with the bow. This has also got it as well. Um, I didn't know how to aim it at first. I used my right hand because I'm dominant the right hand. And I thought that if I just held it that way, that that's how you shot it. And you don't necessarily need to draw the bow or the arrow all the way back to shoot it. If you actually do it about midway, it still hits hard and goes pretty far. And most the enemies you deal with that are level 1 will instantly die. If they're level 2 or level 3, that would be a different story, but they will take a shitload of damage. The other thing is that when it comes down to the bow and arrow is that you have to pick up the arrows individually. And this is not like a thing to where if you want to get your arrows back, for example, you can get them because a lot of times that they're going to be inside the floor or you can't find them because they're hard to find, like stuck in a tree or out of bounds somewhere. The other thing is that when you're talking about combat, it's difficult to pull the arrow back while you're getting shot at by multiple different units. This was a troublesome thing for me because when I'm around corners, trying to be in cover, not get hit by the orbs or bullets, you know, you're trying to aim and shoot at them. And a lot of times it's difficult because I don't know if I'm supposed to do underhand or like an overhand. In short, after about a couple games, I was able to do the left hand for the bow and then shoot with the arrow on the right hand, and that became a little bit more natural and easier to deal with. The secondary weapon that they give you for the hunter is the throwing knife. I'll touch base on the bow a little bit more later, but the throwing knife is something I want to talk about because when you go into the target range area, like the shooting range before you leave to go do a mission, the throwing knife doesn't have like a homing feature to where it homes onto the target. But when you get into a match, like get into an actual run, and you throw the throwing knife, if you throw it close enough to the enemy, whether it be a wolf or a shadow creature, it will home to them and hit them with it. It does a quite a bit of damage, to be honest. And the thing that I don't like about the throwing knife is that I wish that you were able to pick it back up after you use it. Every time I throw my throwing knife, I never see it again, or it's either in the floor and I just can never find it. A similar thing with the bow and arrow itself. That being said... Aiming the bow and arrow is going to be different per person, and you don't have to do a full draw when you're trying to shoot and instantly kill things. The other thing going down the uh, patch notes that they talked about, other than adding the new hunter class, the bow and throwing knife, they added a new map called the Sunless Keep, as well as some new tarot cards that you could pick up. The only three that I've seen so far was the end of the world, and that did, I think, bonus damage to units that were hit by a specific thing, like sun damage or radiant damage and then you have nature's prospect which is allowing for health regen and i think that might be lifesteal when you shoot stuff but i wanted to show off the shooting range with the throwing knives these things are really weird like i'm trying to lightly throw them and even then it still goes pretty far if you throw harder it'll go farther and even a little bit more straight towards the target as you see right there but both of these weapons are very odd to use the other thing I want to talk about with the bow and arrow is that if you're aiming the bow and arrow and you're, like, pulling the arrow back, you can go up and down with the arrow while aiming. For example, let's say I'm trying to shoot at a shadow creature and I can pull the arrow back. Normally in games it just stays still. Because Light Brigade has physics, you're able to take the arrow and go higher by aiming up with the arrow itself or going just down. You can't go anything lower than all the way down like pointing in a 90 degree angle it just goes the even or a little bit higher up and you can aim just the arrow that way at different targets before the end of the video there's some things i want to talk about i want to talk about some of the negatives that they could probably do to fix when it comes down to the bow and arrow but as i said earlier when it comes down to the throwing knives it's better to use it like point blank or when they're like mid-range to you because when you throw it it does lock on to them and kills them problem is you just can't get it back the other thing i don't like about the bow and arrow is that i can't get my arrows to be like in a bundle like put four or five in a single one because they go up to like 20 or 24 for reserve and i wish i was able to pick up more without having to keep constantly pick them up individually 
because it becomes tiring. The other thing is that when I first played it, I didn't know that you could put the arrows on your back. Like if you play Blade and Sorcery and you have the quiver, you could put it on your right-hand side where the uh, carrying thing is or on your back and it'll be there either way. And then having to be able to find the thing is also annoying. So if I was able to have it highlighted and it'd be easier to pick up, that would be something better too. So I'm hoping that they do something like that in the next patch. There are a couple lasting patch notes that they talked about. For example, they added the palm up quick grab for all sidearms. So if you put your palm up, you can grab it easier. That was always an issue. Then they fixed the damage zone, still damaging after boss. Fixed insta-kill card effects. Uh, fixed issues with missing chests in the ash stages. Card 98 crystal slot position. Fixed random item shrine purchase price calculation. Fixed some issues with non-engineered drone going into pouch. Some missing waypoints and temple on class unlocks. Souls light double damage on applying. Various sex and errors and weapons sometimes not going into the holster. Which sometimes when I have items in my holster or pockets, it'll bounce and it won't sit itself in there. But those were just a couple of the other patch notes I've seen. Not much else has came out besides the new hunter class. And after a while I decided, well, screw it. Might as well get on my assault class the STG-44 with a red dot sight and just go murder a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I've been one nut punch and this has been the Light Brigade Shadow Hunter update 3.0 and I wanted to show stuff off. If you have Light Brigade, highly recommend people trying the new class. If you haven't picked up Light Brigade, highly recommend people buy it, play it, and have fun with it. It's a wonderful roguelike first person shooter and I highly recommend people playing it. I got about 25 hours in it and I still go back and play. Anyway, guys, I've been one nut punch, and this has been another video. Some people are asking what you do in the game exactly, and technically you're a soldier of the light, and when you pray, you pray for your fallen comrades to gain souls and to be able to see where the enemies are. And that's clasping your hands together in prayer and, you know, seeking out the darkness and destroying it. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later in the next one.